Hey y'all, sorry my video got cut off. So this is going to be part two to the do's and don'ts of Rush. What to prepare for, what to expect, and how to succeed. Okay, so I left off saying don't just go to the event swinging it with no research, no headshots, no resume, no nothing on what's happening. That is not good because you may be asked some questions and if you are not prepared, it is not a good look for the members as well as it is not a good look for yourself. So please make sure that you are preparing before these events. Do not wing it. It's not something that you can wing, especially if you are sincerely interested in being a part of the organization, okay? Um, do not make it known that you have researched or rushed other organizations. So you are able to do research on other organizations. This is actually... Um, Encourage because you want to make sure that you make the right decision. Um, you actually want to make sure that you are attending other organization events just to see how that chapter works. However, you don't want to make it obvious that you have done that. You know, you want to keep that to yourself. If you are asked by a member, then yes, go ahead and let them know that you have been doing research um, on other organizations to make sure that you find your fit. Um, because that is essentially what they want. They want to make sure that you know that this is a good fit, okay? But like I said, don't make it known. Don't make it obvious that you have been doing research on other organizations. Keep that to yourself. But, of course, do research on other organizations to make sure that that chapter for that organization at that campus of yours is the best for you, okay? Um, if there is an event that they are having and it starts at 7 o'clock, Please make sure that you are there by 6.45, the latest. Do not, do not be late for a meeting. Um, I know that things happen. I know that things come up. You know, you have issues with your car, so on and so forth. But if you walk into a meeting or an event late, most likely the members are not going to say anything to you. They will just let you come in and proceed with the event. However, I can guarantee you that it does not look good at all. So try to avoid that. Try to plan for being there a little bit early. Um, if you do know that there's going to be traffic, definitely leave earlier than expected. If you have to wait on campus for a little while, wait on campus for a little while, but do not try to avoid being late to an event or a meeting, okay? Okay, my next don't. Um, <clears throat> If you have friends in the organization that you're interested in, um, please do not attend Rush thinking that just because you have friends within that organization, you don't have to get to know anyone else. That is not true. Um, please make it a priority to get to know everyone else because your friends are not the only ones making the decision at the end of the day when it comes to whether or not they want to accept you into the organization so please 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 get to know others within the organization make new friends you know there are you may have some friends that are in the organization and that's awesome because you do have people who are able to vouch for you and you know speak on the kind of person that you are and um, really let other people know the great things that you're doing within the community or within school or within academics you know things like that so it is good to have someone vouch for you however you want to get to know everyone else who does not know you so that when it comes time to making a decision they themselves can also also say yeah you know I did speak to that person and they do have this going on or they do have this going on so you do have multiple people not just your friends you know giving you an A plus which is really awesome okay um, do not get into an organization or show interest in an organization just to have the letters just to have a jacket just to have a jersey just to have Greek life under your belt. Um, being in an organization is a really big responsibility. Um, it is something that can really look good um, on your resume. It can really look good. Um, it can really look good on your resume. We know that. Okay. But it can also really help you within your college career. It can help you with professional development. It can help you with personal development. It can help you in a lot of different ways. So um, try to take away the 
excitement of getting your letters. Try to take away the excitement of being a part of Greek life. Um, just try to separate yourself from all of that and look at the bigger picture. Look at the fact that you are helping someone in the community. Look at the fact that you are being a part of a group that's helping students. Um, you are a part of a group that's helping um, kids in high schools or middle schools. Um, you're developing yourself. You're learning how to be a leader. You're learning how to lead a team. You're learning how to be a part of a team. You know, you're learning so many different things and that's ultimately what you should look for or what you should um, accomplish when you're in this organization. The letters are just, you know, cherry on top. You know, yay, I got letters. Yay, I'm in Greek life. But really helping others is why you want to do this. So really contemplate before these rush events, really sit down and think about why you wanna do this and make sure it's not just for the letters, it's not just for you know being known on campus because when you are actually in the organization, you will be asked to participate in a lot of different things and you wanna make sure that when you're participating, you are genuine and you're not just in it for the letters, okay? Um, like I said, for my dues, if you attend Rush and you don't get into an organization that you are absolutely interested in, it is okay. Definitely take those, um, blah, 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 blah. definitely take the experience as um, a learning experience and do not give up. Keep trying for the next Rush event. Um, keep going, don't give up because sometimes you may not get in the first time, you may not even get in the second time, but that third time you could get in. So really take notes, really get as much information as you can. If you want to walk up to a member and ask them, hey, what are some things that you know you think that I could improve on? Absolutely do that. You will have some members who will give you some great feedback. So if you feel the need to do that, go for it. I commend you. But please do not give up, especially if you believe that it is something that could truly help you in the long run or it is an organization that means a lot to you. Do not give up. I promise you, keep trying because you will ultimately get in at one point, okay? And my last don't is if you do get feedback from a member or someone who is a part of the organization, do not take anything personally. Do not take it as I'm not good enough. You know, I'm not out there enough. I can't be in the social organization. I'm not smart enough to be in this academic organization. I'm not, you know, don't, don't do that to yourself. Do not take it personally. Just take that feedback, look at it, really sit down with it and learn from it so that you can better yourself for the next time you go to rush. And when you do that, those members will remember you. They will say, hey, you came back and they will see that you've done better with the information that you gave them. And that will be an A++++, okay? So there's no way that you can go wrong when you do that. So definitely don't try to take it personal. I know it's hard to rush something and not get in and it means so much to you, I know but you still have time within your college career, hopefully. And um, you can try again. There will be other times that you are able to rush. Now, if you are a senior and you didn't get into an organization that meant a lot to you, it is okay. Definitely take that feedback still and continue to grow within yourself. Continue to learn from everything that they've told you and continue to get out there in the community. You don't have to be in an organization to help the community. Um, you can still do that on your own. You can still do that within a community group if there are any within your community. So you can do some research with that. Um, and if there is an organization that has an alumni chapter, definitely look into that and hopefully you can get into that. So there is never Ever a reason for you to give up if you don't get in the first time um, there is always something that you can do to improve and that is what it is all about bettering yourself okay so these are my do's and don'ts um, I'm so sorry for having the video cut off um, earlier but hopefully you guys got some really great information and you are ready to rush for spring or fall or whenever um, you got some really great tips from me if you guys have any questions or there is another video that you want me to talk about as far as Greek life, I will do my best to put one out for you and give you the best information that I can in regards to what I know about Greek life, okay? So good luck to you guys. If I don't 
get back on um, before Christmas. Have a great Christmas. Have a great New Year's. Um, I want to hear some great things about you guys rushing and you guys um, getting into these organizations and meeting new people and things like that. Please, please, please let me know what happens. I'm super excited for you guys. And once again, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I can't wait to hear back from you guys. And hopefully I will see you soon. Bye. Mwah.